Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Tonight we are going to discuss XRP. There's a lot of excitement in the news today and we want to share that with you. So good evening, good morning, or good afternoon wherever you are on this beautiful planet. We're going to start right in with a major Singapore bank completes the first DLT trade financing transaction. This is very important as we all know in the XRP community that swell event is happening here in a few short weeks. Part of the article says a Singaporean banking branch of CIMB Group, one of the largest Asian investment banks, has completed its first blockchain-based trade financing transaction. The transaction was processed using a blockchain and Internet of Things IoT platform developed by local trade financing firm iTrust Trading, Yahoo Singapore, reports October 17. By applying iTrust blockchain-based IoT, CIMB intends to minimize the risk associated with commodity trade financing and facilitate credit extensions for its customers by gaining access to real-time monitoring of the cargo data in transit and in the warehouse. The technology reportedly provides all stakeholders with secured accessibility and data integrity of digital documents that are recorded on a distributed ledger. So this is pretty game-changing. All of the new things that are coming out on the DLT with the ODL, the new branded name for XRP. Also in current news, which we did post first thing in the morning on our Twitter, if you are following us on YouTube and are not on Twitter but have an account, you might want to add us there too because there is a little bit of difference between our YouTube versus our Twitter. Our Twitter, we are loading information all day long on digital assets, all digital assets, as we find them occurring in current news. Ripple CEO blast Libra and boast of war chess. This is an article on this computer. I do not have it connected, but I do have it on my other highlighted, which I will read for you, which is making the news. Ripple, which offers technology that facilitates real-time settlements between banks, is striking more than 30 deals a week with financial institutions according to Garlinghouse. The reason that is such a big deal, as we know, is many people have been stated to email Alex Heath, the current author of this article, to confirm that he made a mistake, as Brad has constantly said over and time again that they are averaging about three financial institutions per week, where the article has it at 30. He stands firm saying there is no mistake and there is no error according to those who have stated to email. Time will tell. 30 is very exciting. You're talking a little over 1,500 new accounts, institutions, annually. Next, we're going to discuss the IMF. <clears throat> seminar event from October 17th, 2019. That was yesterday on Thursday from 10.30 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. The interesting thing here that is catching a lot of attention from this seminar is it is stated around, I believe, 12 minutes and 8 seconds within this seminar. They're stating canceling debt whether it's one city one state one current country or if it's globally it's an extremely big deal on top of 
his statement for that, whether it was an error or whether it was intentionally meant to make public attention, on the IMF website, which we did in a previous video, there is also a 30-page document of them discussing Ripple. So having stated Ripple on their IMF website and now discussing debt cancellation is getting quite a lot of attention in the community. The next major thing which is very popular also within the community is the Shane Ellis theory. If you're familiar with that I'm sure you're very excited. If you are not by the time I read this article I will share with you you will be very excited and then you will also be familiar with the Shane Ellis theory. I'm going to go into this whole article as I know many of you are either driving or you are working and are not available to view your screen. So let's dive right in. This is an unedited version of the Shane Ellis theory XRP to $500. <coughs> Excuse me. I have recently posted the below for Jungle Link. And as you have also touched on the subject, then I would like you to consider these facts before stating that XRP will take extreme amounts of money to reach $589. Please take particular note of this section where I show on the Bittrex exchange that transacting small amounts of money can push up the price dramatically. Please do not be fooled into thinking that it will take billions of dollars to force the price of XRP to the extremes. It will not. I wanted to say thank you for making a video that does not berate others for suggesting a price of $589, as many others have. I have posted many comments explaining why, in my professional opinion, XRP can reach very high numbers, dramatically faster than any other coin which is currently on the market. As you have opened this discussion, I wanted to go through the simplification of this process so you may hopefully share this information and thus see for yourself a confirmation, if you will, of how this will be achieved. As you know, Ripple have now partnered with a number of exchanges around the world and surely this number will grow. This network of liquidity providers will become the go-to place for buy-sell for retail market makers as these are the exchanges that are servicing transactions for the payment flows of the institutions. If an exchange is not within this liquidity network, then the XRP on these exchanges will drain away as retail investors begin to move their XRP onto the platform. This will happen due to either number one, arbitrage. Although other exchanges will not let the price fluctuate too much so as not to miss out on the higher prices. Number two, natural mitigation to preferred exchanges for rapid buy-sell opportunities. <clears throat> as no one, as one can expect, no exchange will want to miss out on the potential for making money where servicing XRP transactions would provide a healthy income stream for the exchange. Unfortunately, most exchanges are simply not large enough with enough capital backing for Ripple to sign them as a preferred exchange. Now onto the method of price increase, which I believe will incur, we can guarantee that the spread on the exchange for XRP will be extremely tight so as to ensure near perfect entry and exit from the Ripple preferred partner solution, RPPS from now on. The RPPS consortium will also be working within a framework that will ensure coordinated price movement of XRP to eliminate arbitrage trading from XRP fiat pairs, which will then obviously filter into the USDT-BCC markets on these exchanges. That's even if they still exist at this point. It will be a requirement that these third-party pairs will need to decouple from XRP so as to ensure that extreme price fluctuations in BTC will never impact the price of XRP. Even a price drop of one cent will have a dramatic impact on the movement of value when we are talking about millions of dollars. 
Now we know that members of RPPS have been and continue to be pre-funded with XRP so that they may service the XRAPID transactions. This pre-funding is necessary to guarantee transactions made by financial institutions. We can't have any of these transactions fail due to the lack of XRP liquidity. These exchanges will also be reliant of the XRP provided by market makers to bolster the XRP liquidity, thus adding to the exchange total supply. Now, the exchanges will prefer at first to use the XRP from market makers to increase the price of the XRP coin. Why do I say this? Because it simply makes sense to use the immediately available XRP to raise the price in a dramatic fashion. This then increases the exchange reserve pool that must service the transaction request, but now has been increased dramatically. Let me explain. Bittrex order book currently shows that $0.27 cents to $1.49 totals $47,078. Through XRP fiat pairing, which is the same channel that will be used by RPPS, simply transacting $47,078 at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $1.49. Bittrex order book currently shows that from $0.27 cents to $25 totals $3,651,361. Transacting $3,651,361 at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $25. Bittrex order book currently shows that from $0.27 cents to $100 totals $3,743,466. Transacting $3,743,466 at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $100. Now the price <clears throat> Now the XRP price numbers get much higher than this if you take a look for yourself, but it makes sense to use these orders to push up the price in a dramatic fashion so as to provide a stable pool of XRP liquidity to service further institutions and FX transfer. The exchange at this point could then create large buy sell walls at either side in the magnitude of tens of millions of XRP from their very own supply to ensure price stability. By performing this simple maneuver, the exchange cannot be accused of XRP price manipulation as the retail orders were filled first and then the exchange stepped in to service the rest of the transactions. I mentioned the phrase at this point due to the fact that no retail investor knows when XRP XRAPID is going to go live. So this can in fact happen at any time. And Ripple needs it to remain this way. By ensuring this, they can guarantee a one-time rapid price increase that professional investors will also be glad of. They will want to ensure, in fact, guarantee that market makers are then priced out of the market and those who are intelligent enough to have already purchased will be flocking to sell their XRP in an instant. They will need to sell at a lower rate to ensure the sell of their coins as placing them in a pool of tens of millions of XRP will not fill their order immediately. I know this seems such a simple process to be believable, but make no mistake, this is what will happen. And it will be happening all over the world on the RPPS at the same time as all XRP liquidity providers will begin tight alignment regards XRP price. NB, I wanted to add the figure for you, which is easy to understand. Number that will guarantee a price of 500 per XRP. This is on a single exchange granted, but when XRP goes live, and it will without the knowledge of retail investors. The production corridors will begin to flow simultaneously. This will happen. And the price will increase in perfect synchronicity on all Ripple preferred exchanges all over the world. So, Bittrex order book currently shows that from $0.27 cents to $500 totals $39,544,000. 
$766. Transacting $39,544,766 at this point will instantly push the price of XRP to $500. Now let me be clear. $39,544,766 is all it would take to push up this price on the USD XRP market. All other markets, BTC, XRP, ETH, XRP, USDT, XRP, on this exchange will rise in tandem as to coincide with this price. It will not take billions of dollars to push up this price. You can see this now. You have mentioned that you have been in the markets for some time now, and you must know that there are small and large jumps in between the sell orders. It is the sell orders that bring up the price. No one can buy if there is no sell order. Hope this helps. And again, that is the Shane Ellis theory. This is XRP to $500 unedited. Again, we are not financial advisors, and this is not financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. All of the information and the articles will be listed in the description below so that you can do your own research and you can follow up and do a more thorough view through the um, articles yourself if you choose to. We hope you enjoyed this show, and we will talk to you in the next one.